Hey guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to install the LAMP server inside of Ubuntu. Um, I am using Ubuntu 11.04, um, however it might not be a bad idea to use um, Ubuntu 10.04 since um, it is an LTS release. Um, and I am, I am um, deliberately using the desktop version because if you're watching um, this video, um, you know, you probably um, want a graphical user interface. Um, I could have done the tutorial on the um, server version, though there would have been no GUI by default. Um, so it's pretty simple, really. The first thing you need to do is open a terminal. And um, you need to type in sudo. Uh, you know, that's sort of for the, um, you know, the administrative um, privileges. So you need to type in sudo apt get um, install apache2, that's the um, web server, and lib apache2-mod php5, which is, you know, sort of a programming language, my sql-server. Uh, you know, that's for the database and PHP my admin. That's sort of like um, an online um, interface, you know, to manage your SQL databases with. And that should be it. And then you need to type in your password, um, your root password, which you would have created whilst installing um, Ubuntu. After this operation, 103 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. Do you want to continue? Type Y to continue. Okay, so we have now downloaded all of the files, and um, that took a good 10 minutes, um, you know, because it was um, very slow downloading from the repositories. Um, it kept going from about 30 kilobytes a second to 80 kilobytes a second. Um, and now we are presented with this screen. While not mandatory, it is highly recommended that you set a password for the MySQL administrative root user. If this field is left blank, the password will not be changed. New password for the MySQL root user. So here you will need to type in a password for the root user. Um, this um, should probably be different to your um, Ubuntu root user password, though it's up to you. And it is going to ask you to repeat the password. Please choose the web server that should be automatically configured to run PHP MyAdmin web server to reconfigure automatically, I am going to choose Apache 2. All of the files are currently being unpacked and installed. Configuring PHP MyAdmin. The PHP MyAdmin package must have a database installed and configured before it can be used. This can be optionally handled with dbconfig common. If you are an advanced database administrator and know what you want to perform, this configure uh, and sorry, and know that you want to perform this configuration manually, or if your database has already been installed and configured, you should refuse this option. Details on what needs to be done should most likely be provided in user share doc PHP my admin. Otherwise, you should probably choose this option: configure database for PHP my admin with DB config common. Um, select yes for this option. Please provide the password for the administrative account with which this package should create its MySQL database and user. Password of the database's um, administrative user. Um, this will most likely be the password you entered in before. Uh, please provide a password for PHP my admin to register with the database server. If left blank, a random password will be generated. MySQL application password for PHP my admin. Password confirmation. Okay, so now let's go and um, check whether or not we can um, see the Apache test page. Uh, so we can just go to local localhost. Okay, and here is the test page. It works. This is the default web page for the server. The web server software is running, but no content has been added yet. Now let's try the PHP my admin interface. And as you can see, here it is, and you can now log in if you wish. I am going to log in with the root account. 
And here we are, it is up and running. To add files to your web server, you need to click on the file system and go to the var folder and the www directory. And as you can see, there is the default index.html file. I now want to check that PHP is working correctly. Uh, so I need to open up a terminal. Uh, we need to use a terminal to open up the text editor application as the root user. So just type in sudo gedit and it will ask you for your root password. Uh, so now that the text editor has opened, we want to make a PHP test file. And we now want to go to File, Save As, and we are going to save it under File System, Far, and in the www directory, and it obviously has to end in .php, so it is a PHP file. If you didn't save the document as a root user, then it wouldn't have worked. Uh, so now let's go to the web browser and type in test.php and now as you can see this has worked and it's come up with all of the PHP you know version information etc so we know that um, Apache is working we know that PHP my admin is working which means my SQL must be working and um, PHP um, is also working LAMP servers are really good if you are currently working on a website or a project um, that involves um, working with PHP and MySQL. Um, I wouldn't really recommend um, what I've shown you um, as a um, production server. Um, and it is also a good idea to have a static IP address configured. It's not necessary if you just use um, localhost or, um, you know, the loop um, back IP address, which is 127.0.0.1. Um, and I am also going to make another video soon on how to install um, a you know, web management interface. Um, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet, though if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me and thanks for watching.